Wendy Valencia, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below because I promise you next week you're gonna be like, now who is that girl I watched? You know, the one that made the really awesome carnitas and then you're never gonna find me again. So click the subscribe button and go ahead and click that bell notification icon so you'll be alerted every time I upload. I am in a Facebook group called the YouTube Mommy Meet Up Facebook group, and they put together this collab, and the collab's hosted by Debt Free Dana and Dream Flight 6000. This collab's going to be the Croctober collab, so it's all crockpot cooking, all fast, all easy, all amazing. So I will put a link to the playlist down below. Let's get started. We're making carnitas. And for those of you who know me, you know that I used to live in Mexico and carnitas are super popular there. But this isn't a recipe I got from there. This is a recipe I got from Real Simple. And I'll put the recipe down below. And these carnitas are awesome and amazing and really surprisingly authentic. Now, the recipe down below is gonna be for a single serving. I will tell you that I am actually almost tripling this recipe because I frequently make, I'm, I'm a big proponent of cook once and be done with it and then freezing another serving for a later date. So I am gonna do that here. So the single serving recipe will be down in the description box, okay? Okay. Let's go. The first thing we've got is we've got pork shoulder. So then we are going to add our spices on top of that. We have our minced diced garlic. You can dice your own. I use the Costco version. And just put, and in my house, you can never have too much garlic. And this garlic actually is not super potent. So it looks like a lot of garlic. It actually is not super strong. Then we have Mexican oregano. Now this is a Mexican recipe, so I generally use Mexican seasoning instead of Turkish oregano. It doesn't matter, it's oregano. It has a different flavor, but it's all good. And sprinkle that around. And then we have our cumin. And again, down in the description box will be the measurements for this recipe. And just spread that all out. Look at all the deliciousness. And then we have the chili powder. Now I don't use, my husband does not like super spicy stuff and my daughter will not eat super spicy. My father and mother both love spicy, but I'm gonna go light on the chili powder just so everybody will eat it. And then we have salt. And I'm using pink Himalayan salt, but any salt will do. And then just a sprinkle of pepper. And this is gonna shock you, but I am using Coca-Cola as the base. And I know it seems strange but this absolutely makes this recipe amazing. But shh, don't tell my family because I'm pretty sure if they knew there was Coca-Cola on their meat, nobody would eat it. And then on top, we are taking sliced onions. And just lay those on top. There you go. Now, don't make fun of my crock pot. We actually broke the lid to my crock pot. So we are using just a regular pot lid. It works. We're good. I don't want to buy another crock pot. Now I'm going to let you in on a little secret. You, the next time you see me, I'm going to look different because I am actually prepping this meal for use during the week. I am a full-time working mom. I am out of the house at least 60 hours a week. And so when I cook, I prep ahead of time. My Sunday is all about food prep. I prep breakfasts, I prep lunches, I prep dinners. 
I will put this on before I go to work. Then I will finish up when I get home from work. It'll take maybe 20 minutes to get everything ready and on the table. So I'll see you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. It is later that week. It is after a work day. I'll look like I have been away from my makeup all day. That is for sure. So let us jump right into what is next. Oh, there, I just fogged up my camera. You can cook this for four to six hours on high or eight to 10 hours on low. Ours has been cooking for a combination of the two. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the meat and we're gonna cook it, cook the liquid down for about 15 minutes in the skillet to kind of caramelize the meat a little bit. I prepped all of this the other night, and this is just chopped onions, chopped tomatoes, sliced radishes. This is a mixture of onion, cilantro, and lime, and then lime wedges for garnish. And this is cotija cheese. If you can't find this at your local market, you can actually substitute feta cheese. It's not quite the same, but it's similar. This says Parmesan, oddly enough, but it's not the cotija anejo is more like parmesan this is going to be more like feta now we are going to be serving this over tortillas both corn and flour um melina mauricio and i are corn tortilla eaters and my dad is a flour tortilla or eater my mother can go either way so we will also be serving it with rice and beans and the beans are super simple i use all different kinds of beans from living many years in central america and south america I, every country has their own favorite kind of bean. This bean, the habichuelas romanas, is very similar to the, the bean, one of the beans that they use in Colombia. So I frequently use this. Um, this is not a Colombian dish, but I felt like eating these beans tonight. So we just put a can of beans um, in with sofrito and, and just put it on the stove to boil. So we're still waiting for the meat to cook down and then I'm gonna heat the tortillas and then we will be good to have dinner. This is about cooked down, so I'm gonna give it one little last stir and then we should be good to heat the tortillas. These are so good. You have got to try them. We're gonna go eat now because we're a hungry group of people. Hi Mauricio. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laugh and face to subscribe and I will put up two videos for you to keep on watching. This video up here is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Mm -hmm.